tired and there's a limit to what a man can bear. Mommy, if anything happens to my husband, I will not forgive you. Are you silly? What kind of stupid statement is that? Did I force you to do anything? You wanted to do this on your own, and now you're, you're, you're talking rot. Huh? Calm down, my friend. He just went out the way other men go out at night, and he'll come back. He's not a baby. Look at the man trying to blackmail you emotionally, making you feel guilty, and you're falling for it. Mommy, I love my husband. And I don't want to lose him. I am just trying to ensure that your future is secure. That your peace of mind is secure. You also want this. So why are you making it look like I engineered the whole thing? <laughs> Mommy, you may not have engineered it, but you are supporting me. Oh, so I should support your in-laws instead. Process all the information he has gathered and then let him come to a conclusion and decide what he wants to do. <laughs> but I bet you he can never, never send you out. That much I can assure you. Mommy, I, I hope so. For your sake, I hope so. <laughs> for, for whose sake? Look at this one. I have my own house. Uh, for my sake. Well, what is this? My friend, stop, stop, stop flitting around like a mosquito that, that sucked alcohol infested blood. Being a nuisance. Acting like a child. Calm down! Breathe. It's 2 a.m. and he's not yet back. <laughs> oh, I'm seriously worried about him. Huh? Uh, I've been calling his number, he's still not picking his calls. Maybe I should just go out there and look for him. Rather than just stay here and do nothing. This is not like him. Exactly. He's not the type that goes clubbing. Eh? Maybe he just left home out of frustration. <sighs> Mama, Ben and I are going to look for him, okay? Please. It's either you stay out here or you go to your room and lock the door. I don't want anybody attacking you or bullying you or saying anything that will hurt you. Okay? My son is more important to me than all this. You people should go and look for him. Go and look for him. No, 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 it's okay. Just, just calm down, okay? We'll find him. Alright? Then let's go. I'll be back then. Vivian. You two can't sleep. Hmm? Isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> eh? Respect yourself. I am trying so hard to respect you. So respect yourself. If you love your son the way you claim that you do, then you would have left this house. Instead, you are here, leeching on him, depending on him. Now he is missing and you are looking for who to blame. Mm -hmm. Can somebody easily hide her true nature. Vivian, if somebody should ask me, I will swear that this is not you. What has come over you? What is happening to you? Yes, 
I agree that some women don't like their husband's family to live with them. That is because some of the family members troubles the woman. But in this case, we have showered love upon you. Why are you trying to disintegrate this family? Why are you trying to destroy your own home? Hmm? This is just a house. When you and your people leave, then this will become my home. And pray for your own good that nothing happens to my husband. Because if a hair on his head is hurt, <laughs> I will hit you so hard, all of you, that you will not know what hit you. If you love your husband like you proclaim, the first thing you will do is to give him peace of mind. Especially when the man is not giving you trouble. Let me warn you. If anything should happen to my son, I will drag you and your mother through the mud. You see, this love that I have for you, it can easily turn into hatred. I will so hate you to the extent that I will even hate every step that you take. This frustration you are trying to throw on us, I myself, I will so frustrate you that you will run out of this house. This, I promise you. Take you to your room so that you go and rest. Come, 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 follow me. Come, come with me. Come with me. Get up, get up. Let's go. Get up. Sorry. You can walk, yeah? That will bring him peace, then it's better we make that sacrifice for him. Ben, this is not what we planned. This is not what we agreed on that is happening. You know that, right? Yeah. No. I mean, I don't have the funds. And even you, you need money to have your own stands. So what are we going to do? What? We will figure something out. We will find a way. But I actually have... I have... I have concerns. Will he survive it? That's your fear, right? Yes. I mean... Look at everything that is happening. Yes, I know it feels like our presence here is causing so much problems. But 
I still believe, I fear that our absence will even cause worse. They're going to consume him and drown him. They will literally oppress him. How to handle her? Please shut her. up your mouth! And you get out of this room! Who are you to tell me to get out of this room? This is my son! And I'm ordering both of you to get out of this room! I'm not only throw you out, but throw this idiot, this thing! You call a child out of this room! My son is more important to me! His life is more important to me and his sanity! If both of you do not leave this room this minute, you will see the other side of me! Anything that threatens the life of my son and his sanity will see the evil in me. So now I am asking you to get out of this room or you face the consequences. Mom, I think that we, we should leave this room. It's obvious that everybody in this house has gone mad. Get out! Enjoy this time you have with him now. Because soon you will look for him to even speak to him and you will not find him. I promise you. Ah! My son. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, I'm sorry. Sorry. Go. to my husband. Where did you find him? I am talking to you. I'm asking you a question. Where did you find my husband? What happened to him? I don't even know if I should be angry with you or feel sorry for you. I mean, who are you to question me about where I found my brother? Ignore his wife. Why don't you go out there to look for him? Huh? Look here, questioning. I feel pity for him. Your marriage is just two weeks old and it's already a disaster. <laughs> Congratulations. This is the exact same thing your mother here did to your father. And that's why they're living like strangers in their own marriage. Is that what you want? No, 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 don't tell me. Is this what you want for yourself? Because if this is what you want for yourself, then you're doing an absolutely great job at it. Congratulations. Well, it is my marriage, not yours. So I'll handle everything. Not like you have any marriage. Oh, Vivian. <laughs> Vivian, Vivian. I really pity you. You're fighting so hard, so hard for us to leave this house. Thinking that we are the problems. But no. You are your own problem. And your mother here is only encouraging you and contributing to the problem. Hmm? I won't fight with you anymore. At least not until you deserve it. 
I had a very long night. So I'm going to save my energy for some things that are more important in my life. But you know what? My brother is very important to me. My family, my mother, my brother, they're all important to me. They're my life. And I'll do everything to protect them. My brother? <laughs> I'll protect him, even against himself. Ish, you have not answered her question. Where did you find him? Madam Stella, I hope you know that everything you sow in this life, you're going to reap it. You might think that you're here encouraging your daughter, making her do the right thing. But you see this demon you're creating? This beast is going to come back to you and destroy you to your very foundation. I promise you that. I asked you a question. 